Hey everybody, I'm Striking Hobbit and I'm here with Stuart today. Hello. Hey, and this is the first episode of Craft It Yourself. Craft It Yourself is a new uh, Community Hunter series where we teach you a couple different tips and tricks in Minecraft uh, to help you be able to make better Let's Plays and stuff. All right. Now, just a quick question before we start. Does that yeah. mean we can actually do everything in two less redstone? <laughs> no, not quite. Not oh. quite. You can try. Uh, you can try. Um, the first thing uh, I'll show you today is just a simple inverted signal, which is where um, the power is already going to the source until you uh, flip the switch or change it in some way. Often used in secret tunnels like this one, where you can use uh, pistons to already be um, activated. Um, and then this next one um, is where you can hit any one of the sw multiple switches, and as long as one of them is on, the source will be on. And then this one is the exact same thing, just inverted. Um, and these are all considered logic gates, is what the term is for it. Um, often, you know, same kind of principle in electricity. Okay, so this is an example of how you can use that type of thing. I have an inverted uh, one of those things, and I figured, like, if you have some kind of let's play where people are racing and you need to have a finish line, what you can do is uh, have this kind of setup to where there's those, uh, I can't remember what they're called, trip wires. There you go. And as soon as one person hits it, both sand drops, stopping anybody else from being able to get to the finish. Nice. That's actually really clever. Yeah. Try to try to keep it clever. Try to keep <laughs> um, but uh and then this next one is where you have to have both of the switches on in order to activate the uh the signal at the end. So see how that red storm torch turns off? Both right of them indeed. have to be uh off to order to do blah, 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 in order for it to work. <laughs> and uh same again, just inverted. So it's already on and then you flip both of them to be able to turn it off. That as as someone who doesn't actually play Minecraft that much, I like, I'm actually finding this really interesting. That's why I'm not talking that much. I'm just like, <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I get it. <laughs> and this one you can actually repeat, so you can have it going to two separate ones, and then that each one of those going to two separate ones. I have it going up to eight of them, and then I figured you could use this in kind of like a quest type thing where you have to go through like different stages or something to get to the next level or something like that. So let's say you have like a complicated puzzle or something, and then at the end is a switch. Once you get to the final stage of uh, said puzzle or quest, then once only only once all of them are done, can you open the door to the next level. Whoa, okay. Yeah. That, and that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, and this one, it, you, um, it looks a little more complicated. What this simply is, is, you know in a house when you have two switches that both power on a light and you can flip either of them as long as they're both um, not the same, I it'll turn indeed. on? Yeah, yep. that's this exact exact same concept, and I kind of screwed it up here because both of them are already different. But um, yeah, you get the same get the picture of one is inverted and one isn't, and uh, it's the same kind of thing. And uh, I use this one in a couple different ways, but mainly um, I think of it as like if you're doing a let's play where you need to have people get prepared in some way or another. Um, you can see the redstone stone there, uh, like a little prepared house. Uh, for example, if you're doing a, um, some kind of quest or RPG, for example, let's play. Um, you see how that turned on that light? It's uh, like an occupied light, so don't come in the house while the light's on. Uh, you can get uh, <laughs> these different classes or whatever. You know, there's only a certain amount. Yep. And uh, you pick your class, for example, magic class with a different magic potion. And then you get prepared, and then you hit the switch on that side to be able to turn off the light before you leave. Oh yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Mind blow. <laughs> yep. So uh, submit tips or tricks uh, on the RT um, page, which is uh, in the link below, and uh, submit your tips or tricks. Or if you want help building a let's play that you can't figure out how to do it, uh, let me know. I'll give you a, give you a shout out, and we'll try to figure it out together. Awesome. Yep. See you guys later.